Hello Cancer my darlings and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. You guys even if you don't have children you're still a mother. Think about it. If you have a pet you're that pet's mommy right. If you have a project that's your baby okay. Happy Mother's Day to all of my beautiful nurturers out here. Yay. I hope you guys have some fantastic plans. I know I do. I'm going to be hanging out at the water parks today. Yes. <laughs> I'm super excited. Anyway, Cancer, I do have um, a channeled message for you. Okay, something happened to me last night, and I think it may happen to you as well. So um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you. I also have an update on the squirrel, you guys. If you weren't with me yesterday, um, my daughter brought home a baby squirrel that needed help, okay? And I was super excited about it. We did find help for the squirrel. It, it took a long time. Um, we took it to rehab, right, a rehabilitation person. And it's got a little injury on its finger. Um, so they're going to doctor it up. And guess what? They're going to bring it back to me. So I'm super excited. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, cancer. Um, just take what resonates, right? And, and toss the rest. But um, somebody is about to, someone in your inner circle, Someone that you wouldn't expect is just going to, out of the blue, bring up your person, okay? Like, no, for no reason. Now, you could have been in separation from your person for years, not even thinking about them, but that person's going to be brought up. It happened to me last night, and it was, it shocked me, because it was like out of the blue, and, um, and they were saying things like, now, this is someone that's in my inner circle, right? And they, were, they, they started off by saying, don't you think you two will ever get back together? And I'm like, I dropped my fork, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, what? Um, and, uh, and she started saying, um, you know, that man has been pining over you for years. That man has wanted you for years. And I'm like, well, then where have they been? That kind of thing, right? Um, so we had this long conversation about my person and what had happened and how I feel about them. Okay, so I, and at the split, we've got the new beginning and somebody collaborating with other people to see how you feel about them. Okay, so Cancer, someone in your inner circle is going to bring it up out of the blue. You're going to be kind of stunned when this happens, okay? Okay. Um, be careful how you answer the questions, and I cannot stress this enough. Pay close attention to what these people, whoever this is, is doing with their phone, okay? Make sure you're not recorded, all right? Whatever you have to say, make sure their phone is not with them, They're, they don't have it in their hands, it's not just sitting on a table, mm-mm, because you can't tell if you're being recorded or not. And I, I just feel that it's very important that you are careful how you answer these questions, right? Because you're going to be asked some questions from whoever is in your inner circle. And it's going to surprise you, Cancer, because you're not going to be think even thinking about that person, okay? Um, you're not going to know where this is coming from. So you look for these signs. You won't be thinking about them. You're not going to... You're, you're going to feel stunned. You're not going to know where, where this is coming from. Um, they're going to be still, like, a asking you subtle questions to try to figure out how you feel about them. And it could be two to three people working together. Okay, yeah, this person wants info. Because they want to come in, Cancer, and make you a love offer. Okay? But they don't know if they can because they've sabotaged you. All right, and they're trying to find a way to find out how you feel about them, okay, before they come forward. Do they still have a chance with an empress? I cannot make it up. <laughs> Do they still have a chance? But whoever is going to be asking you this stuff, they're going to be, it's going to feel like girl talk, okay? So I feel like this is a, a possible woman 
coming to talk to you about this. This could be a friend. It could be a family member. It's somebody that they're getting information from. They just want to know how you feel. They just want to know what the chances are of getting back together with you. And you're going to find out how they feel about you as well. Okay, now I don't know if this, whoever it is that you're talking to that's getting this information, that may be a trick. Okay, so be careful about that. I need you guys to use your intuition. Okay, um, use your intuition. Be, I really do feel like it's going to shock you. Okay, um, you're going to be kind of stunned. And normally when that happens, when somebody puts someone on the spot, it's, it's like, um, it's almost like you're, you're going to want to tell the truth. Okay, you're going to tell the truth about how you feel about them um, in a very careful way. And I feel like that person that you're going to be talking to, whoever it is, um, is going to take that information back to this masculine. And whatever your answer is, they're either going to be like having a tower moment um, or they're going to, because I feel like for some of you, it's going to make this person angry, angry enough to, um, be angry at, like, they're going to be angry at the person that they sent in to get the information. Okay. <laughs> but for some of you, it's going to make their whole entire flipping year. All right. But you are about to find out how this person feels about you. Okay, and it's, like I said, it's going to be kind of a shocker. But they're doing whatever they can behind the scenes to find out how you feel about them. Because they do want to approach. Yeah, see, and this is, I feel like this is you giving the truth. Okay, you could be telling um, whoever this is that um, you're good on your own. Okay, but you're going to... It, it, there's going to be something about this communication here with, uh, let's just say you're talking to a cousin or you could be talking to your best friend or something like that, okay? It, I, I'm telling you, you're going to be so stunned when, they're, when your person's name is even brought up because this is something that you never speak of, okay? Uh, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like Voldemort, right? the one whose name must never be mentioned, okay? It's going to be kind of like that. And you're going to be like, I don't know why we're talking about this, but fine, I'll tell you how I feel, all right? Yeah, this is you and a friend talking about your person. This is a, a friend, a cousin. I keep getting cousin energy. It could be a family member or a friend talking, having a conversation about your person. Okay, because I feel like, yeah, they are getting ready to come and apologize. I was just going to say that. <laughs> yep, they're still in love with you, Cancer. Okay, now this could be two people. It could be two people working together. Like, um, like someone that you know is going to get the information from you, deliver it to somebody they know, Okay, in their inner circle, a friend or a family member, a kid, something like that, and that person relays it to them. I'm seeing three people here working together to get this, this I feel like it's a masculine, doesn't have to be, to get this person the information they need. Yes, and that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. And they're going to be impatiently waiting for this information, Cancer. Okay, yep. And there's the person who's giving, going back and forth with this info. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm also seeing electronic stuff in their hand. Cancer, be careful. Um, wands to me can be like anything on the internet, electronics. That's just my little symbol um, for that. So, yeah, Cancer, this is um, communication. This is someone with a phone in their hand recording you. Okay, I need you to... And you're not, it's going to catch you so off guard that you're not going to think about that part. Like, where's their phone? Are they recording this? Are they monitoring what I'm saying? Okay, because see, they need to go and give this information. This is them giving that information to your person. Okay. 
I'm telling you, Cancer. So, um, you know, whatever you, it's almost like as soon as you give this person your, tell them how you feel about your person, um, they take it immediately back to that person, okay? So, um, yeah, just be mindful of how you answer that question. You know, do you think you two will ever get back together? <laughs> oh, come on. It'll be like that. Oh, come on. Come on. You know. You know they love you, and you know that they're going to be getting back together with you, right? They want to see what your reaction is, what you have to say, how you feel. Every little thing about you is being monitored at that moment, okay? Every little thing, your body language, the surprised look on your face, the way you drop your fork, <laughs> right? It's all going to be told to this person. And they'll be impatiently waiting, waiting for that info, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, Cancer, I cannot make this, this stuff up, okay? Yeah, look at them, hermit energy. Oh, I hope the answer is yes. I hope I hope cancer still loves me. That the, they need to know how you feel before they come forward. You could be dealing with um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Pisces. Okay. <laughs> But whatever your answer is, it's either going to absolutely crush them or it's going to make this person like leap for joy. Okay, I'm telling you, yep, they want to get back together, Cancer. They do. They do. Um, this is going to surprise you, though. Um, and you may even all like as you're sitting there um, talking to your whoever, whatever friend this is, right? Um, talking to your friend, I feel like you're going to figure it out. This isn't just girl talk. This is them fishing for info. Fishing to see how I actually feel. Because this is someone you don't talk about. Like, you won't mention their name. I, I just keep getting Valde Valdemort, right? Um, the one whose name must never be mentioned. Right? Yeah. The one whose name must never be mentioned. That's what this is. And up until this point, you've been keeping how you really feel like on the inside, um, a secret. You've been not talking about this person for ages, okay? For years, all right? And all of a sudden, out of the blue, it comes up. That's this. That's this person. Um, getting the info from your friend or from your family member. That's this. Otherwise, you wouldn't talk. Okay? It, it's going to stun you, and it's going um, to stun you to the point where you will be honest about your feelings. But just remember, Cancer, they're going to take that information and every little detail right back to this person. Okay? And be careful about your about their phones. You know, these people, man, they'll be sneaky. They'll record you without you even knowing it. All right? I just want you to know that. I feel like this person watches you. They could be watching a lot of tarot card readings as well because they really don't know how you feel about them. You haven't spoken to them. You don't talk about them. Okay? So I feel like this person's... Um, either watching a lot of tarot card readings, maybe on YouTube, or you could be a tarot card reader or a spiritualist, okay? And they're watching whatever you say, all right? They're seeing you strong. Like, they know that you're not going to speak to them. They know that um, you're not going to mention their name or anything like that, right? Uh, so that's why they have to ask other people to help them out with this. They need to know how you feel, Okay, this person, I feel like it's, it's driving them crazy. And while they wait to hear back from whoever friend this is, they're going nutty. Okay, they can't stop thinking about this. And all this person wants to do is approach you with an apology and a legitimate offer, but they realize it's been way too long. Could have been years in separation. Have they missed their opportunity? Because this person does not want to miss out. Okay, is the door closed on them? You know, 
They're, they need to know. So, yeah, Cancer, now, now is when they start trying to really find out um, in, a, in kind of a sneaky way how you really feel. Yeah, they, see, it's like they don't know. Should they, should they make a move towards you or, or not? But this is somebody who could, they could have been in love with you for years, crushing on you for years, and you don't know. You're about to find out how they feel about you as well. Okay, just the fact that they're sending people in to try to find out how you feel, that's an answer for you right there. This person is in love with you. It's driving them crazy. Okay, it's driving them crazy because they want this, Cancer. They want this. They want this with you. And I feel like you're going to find out how they feel. That's going to be a shocker after all of this time. Um, I feel like this is your friends, you and your friends getting together. See, didn't I say they, they could be working with two other people? Here's you and the two other people talking together, having a get together to talk, right? This is what they're, I feel like they set this up somehow, okay? And like I said, this could be friends, family members, and listen, who, I just want to reiterate this. Whoever this is, this friend or family member that's going to have a talk with you um, to find out how you feel about your person, this isn't somebody who's an enemy. This is still somebody who is in your inner circle. They're just, try I feel like this masculine is in love with you and they're trying to play like a, kind of a matchmaker, okay? So... I'm really getting the sense that this, whoever this friend is, they're not doing it to be malicious. They're not. They're actually doing it thinking, okay, I'm going to help get these two back together. Okay, secretly. Secretly. Um, so, I don't know. Take that how it resonates, okay? But this person, once it feels like once they find out about how you feel about them, because you may tell this person that, yeah, I still love them. Yeah, they were an idiot, you know, um, but I, I, I do still have feelings for them, but what can I do? You could say something like that, you know, like they left me a long time ago, so I've just been moving on, but that doesn't mean that, you know, I don't still have love for them. You could say something like that. I don't know. You know, it's going to make this person jump for joy. I'm telling you. They're either going to be really sad about it or they're going to be super happy about it. And it, if you answer it in a, like if you t have this talk with this friend in a positive light, okay, and you say, you mention anything about still caring for this person, I'm telling you, it's going to make them, it's going to make them so happy and, and enthusiastic. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to take that chance and come towards you. They just want to know if there's a slim possibility. Do you have any feelings left for them at all? So for some of you, it's going to make them really happy. And for others, whatever you say um, is going to really hurt them. Okay, it all depends on how you feel. I feel like you're going to speak the truth. Okay, it's going to be a calm, a very calm conversation between friends, okay, um, like you're confiding in them or something, but I feel like you're going to know. You're going to know that it's really just fishing, but at this point, it's kind of like you toss everything up in the air and let the chips fall where they may. Okay, fine, I'll tell you the truth about how I feel about them. Done. Right? Right? Because I feel like you just want to close this out. You know, I feel like after all this time, you know, okay, fine. Who cares how I feel about this person, right? So fine, I'll tell you the truth. Depending on how you answer that question, okay? Like I said, it's either going to make their whole entire flipping year and they're going to be jumping for joy and coming in or they're going to be crashing rock bottom, okay? depending on your answer. All right? So, um, yeah, Cancer. Woo. Um, just, I don't know what advice to give you for this. I guess in my situation when it happened to me, 
Um, yeah, you're good, definitely going to say that this person was a fool because look at all that they passed up. Look at all that they could have had. They could have had somebody who was committed. They could have had somebody who was dedicated. They could have been at your side growing the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Um, you could be saying, yeah, you know what? They missed out. They missed out on me. Um, I'm successful. I'm abundant. I'm beautiful, smart, motivated, and driven. Um, yeah, they missed out on an empress, right? You could say something like that. I feel like cancer, you know, um, it's going to go either way. For, for Like I said, for some of you, the answer is going to be positive, that you still love them, right? You still care about them. For some of you, you're not going to want this person back. You're going to be like, I don't want to talk about Valdemort, okay? <laughs> I want to talk about Valdemort. His name must never be mentioned, right? <laughs> right? And if that's the answer... They're going to have, uh, they're going to hit rock bottom. They're going to have a very crushing moment, okay? Um, but yeah, Cancer, I feel like you're going to know. In my case, it took me a second to figure it out, okay? It, wa it did stun me. I literally dropped my fork, you guys. <laughs> the look on my face <laughs> must have been just priceless. <laughs> I can imagine how shocked I looked at the time, like, what? <laughs> But you're also going to find out how they feel about you, okay? You're also going to find out it's going to be a confirmation for you, Cancer, that this person is, in fact, still in love with you. And they want you back so bad. And um, uh, bad enough to ask other people to find out if there's even a chance, okay? I feel like you're going to handle it like a higher font. You know you're going to be fair. You're not going to be angry. You're going to be very chill about it. Okay? You're, um, you're going to be wise. You know? I feel like you're going to handle it like a higher font. And Cancer, depending on your answer, this person may show up immediately after that. Okay? Like very, very quickly after that. Within like maybe a day or two. Okay? Because they're going to want to get back together. And if they're using other people to find out how you still feel about them, believe you me, Cancer, this person's still in love with you. Okay? But it is going to shock you. It's a very sneaky plan. <laughs> it's very sneaky, Cancer. Um, so use your intuition. Use your discernment. And answer the questions with wisdom. Okay, wisdom. All right, so what else can you show me? Yeah, this is a sneaky plan. And believe me, the people that they're using to get the information from you, they don't have any bad intentions for you. They're really just trying to play secret matchmaker and get you two back together. Yeah, cancer. You may, um, some of you may want this person back. Some of you may not. You know, um, you may say, look, this person walked away from me years ago. It feels like it's over. You know, it looks to me like it's over. That, that may be your answer. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about it. There's nothing I can do, really. I wanted to give this person love, but they turned their back on me. So I guess it's over. Either way, Cancer, this person wants, they just want to know how you feel about it. Like you could, um, you could be very secretive even about your feelings. Like you could say it like that. You know, I tried to give them love. They walked away. It's over. Right? But this person, they want to change this around. Um, so just, just know that this conversation, yeah, look. Um, I feel like they can't hold out any longer, all right? This person in the past, they could have been very selfish. Uh, they could have had toxic tendencies. They may need to, you may even say, they're going to have to walk away from some things, otherwise it's going to be over. 
you know you they could have an addiction they need to um they need to walk away from their addiction otherwise it's it's not going to happen this is going to continue to die out you know there could be some things that this person's holding on to that they don't want to let go of it could be an addiction and until they stop their drinking or until they stop doing that substance or gambling or whatever it is there's going to be no chance. You know, all of this information, though, is going to get back to them. And they're going to be stuck in their head. Either way, if there's no communication between you two, you're moving on. You're putting this behind you. You know, and that's that. You're moving on to calmer waters. Keeping your moves hidden. Yeah, during this conversation, do not tell this other person of any of your plans. That's for sure. Do not tell them of your plans for the future. Some things you need to keep hidden. Okay? And if, if, it, if the info gets back to this person that you're going to be moving on without them, they will be crushed. So, Cancer, this person still loves you. They could have been pining for you for years, right? Unable to get over you. They want this new beginning. They want this new beginning with you. They're, this person is choosing you, Cancer. This is making a choice when it comes to love. They want this with you. Um, they want to take that risk. They want to come forward. They want you back, but they're, they want to know how you feel. So, yeah, um, just be aware of this conversation coming up. It is going to stun you. It's going to catch you way off guard. Like, you're not going to be expecting this to just pop up out of the blue, okay? Um, but, yeah, just be honest, Cancer, right? Um, realize that the person that you're going to be talking to, they don't have any bad motives, all right? They don't. Um, they're just trying to slowly bring you two back together, okay? And um, watch people's phones, you guys, in any conversation because these people can be sneaky and they're trying to monitor what you're saying and how you feel and whatever, um, to give it to this person. So just be careful. Any communication, it needs to be done with their phones in the flipping car. Okay? Anyway, Cancer, I'm going to take this into the extended. Um, let me just call out some signs first. Your person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I've got Cance, uh, Capricorn here, maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could be a Gemini, an Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So Virgo, heavy Virgo, heavy, heavy Capricorn, heavy Aquarius energy, okay? Anyway, my darlings, I'm going to take this into the extended because I want to see what they do next. All right, depending on your answer, this person's either going to be absolutely crushed or click in their heels and more excited than ever before. Okay, um, so yeah, um, if you guys are interested in the extended, there's a link to follow in the description box below that'll take you straight to Patreon. And, um, yeah, I hope this helps, Cancer. I hope it resonates. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.